So today, we are going to visit UAE and the pilot in command is Raj Shri along with the crew members Tarpana. So over to you Raj Shri. So before we start presenting with the screens, so you can talk about them, the facts and all. I've actually been there. Tell me about it. What? Tell me about it. When did you go? Two years back. Okay. What did you see there? <clears throat> Basically, I went to Dubai and saw there. I saw a dolphin show, a musical fountain, went in the desert and saw the aquarium. Did you ride those dolphins? Uh huh? Did you ride those dolphins? No. Okay. Yes, yes, did yes. You did? Yeah. Okay, and what facts do you know about UAE? I don't really know much. Okay. How about the rest of you? I just know that almost everything of this almost gold over there, almost everything. Almost the car is gold, the phones are of gold. Okay. What else? Wow. And the Burj Khalifa over there is the tallest building. Yes, Burj Khalifa is one of the tallest building in the entire world. Yeah, and Burj Al Arab is the seven star hotel over there. And so even the tallest hotel. Actually, actually, I saw the Burj Khalifa from outside. Okay. How much meter? Long it is. That's why I don't know. I don't know the exact height. I have to Google. Google. So, should we start? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Today, we are going to learn about the United Arab Emirates. Let's see what UAE is about. The United Arab Emirates is a country in the Western Asia and it is located at the eastern end of the Arabian Peninsula. It borders Oman and Saudi Arabia and has maritime borders in the Persian Gulf which share with Qatar and Iran as well. The United Arab Emirates is a famous destination for tourists who arrive in very large number of groups every year to have fun. Also, the UAE is famous for its picturesque sceneries, shopping malls and centers, and all the beaches that they have. The Burj Khalifa is one of the most renowned buildings of the United Arab Emirates and soaring very high landmark of Dubai, as we all know. Now, where is it located? The United Arab Emirates is situated in the Middle East, bordering the Gulf of Oman and the Persian Gulf between Oman and Saudi Arabia. It is in a strategic location on slightly southern of the Strait of Hormo, a vital transit point for world food oil. We are talking about that, you know, that it's a center for trading oil. So, this is where it happens. In the map, this is the United Arab Emirates. That's Abu Dhabi. There's Dubai. There's the Persian Gulf, the Strait of Hormuz. And there's Oman over there. This is where it's different. Now, we'll see what the flag is about. The flag is pretty simple yet elegant. The flag of the United and Arab Emirates contains the Pan-Arab 
border red green white and black it was designed in the 1971 by someone named abdullah mohammad al maina the main theme of the flag four colors is the unity of the arab nations so these four colors signify the unity between all the arab nations that is yes abi you want to say something the flag looks beautiful right you know with the colors and everything it's so simple yet so pretty yeah of time i heard a flag is beautiful like this one yeah i love that so Ooh. yes wow abu very beautiful dhabi. yes abu dhabi is the capital of uae when britain finally left the persian gulf and you know when the uae achieved all the political and uh, all the other influences a compromise that was in december 1971 when the british left a compromise decision was made to make dubai the provisional capital it was made the permanent capital of the united arab emirates in the starting of 1990s so abu dhabi is the capital of uae so the flag is so red now we will see what is the currency of abu dhabi of uae ma'am yes i thought the united states of arab is also funded by petrol and oil Your voice is cutting off, ma'am. Now it's fine. It's better. Yes, tell me, ma'am. This Arab is also famous for the petrol and diesel. Yes. Yes, we were seeing that. The yes. They were saying, no, it's Yo. everything is made of gold. Everything is made of gold. It's a very rich country because they have trade and commerce in petroleum and all kinds of oil. Yeah, that is because they actually have gold under either. Most of the companies over there, I guess, they do gold only, gold mining. It's basically it's I mainly so. liquid. You know, they call petroleum the liquid gold. Really? Yes. Oh my God. These people it, are actually on liquid gold and are made by gold. No, no, I am speaking on a universal level that petroleum is generally known as uh, liquid gold because it is very, you know, expensive and it is uh, made from fossil fuels and everything. It has such yeah. a demand all over the globe. It's known as petroleum gold because it's that goodness, price. Goodness, goodness, goodness! That <clears> that <throat> that is something unexpected. Yeah, so they call it liquid petroleum, and they sit on and you know petroleum comes from you know under the land, so Abu Dhabi and all the Middle East is made up of you know, uh, soil that has petroleum under them. That's why they are a very rich country. Only the biggest slide about the current side. Yeah. So, the currency. What is the currency? The, the Emirati dirham is the official currency of the UAE, which is abbreviated officially as AED. Unofficial abbreviation includes BH and BHF. That's how we write rupees. As in RS, they also write RBH or BHF for dirham. Dirham is subdivided into hundred rupees. And one United Arab dirham equals to twenty point twenty four Indian rupees. That is quite a lot. 20. Yeah, but if you are very, very, very rich, then we can go there. Yes, otherwise you can't go there. 
think how rich they will be when if they come from their country to our country all their money will be like 20 times double more than it was there actually yeah india is just like a joke for them india is also a third world country and it is also developing and it does not have does not sit on petroleum so obviously it's a poor country yeah so in our national language yes my god who how many muslim it's a muslim it's an islamic state the entire middle east is an islamic state so muslims are you know the majority there okay so what is the official language the national language of uh, uae yes it's arabic the official language is arabic and the modern standard arabic is taught in schools and in colleges and everywhere um they also have a dialect which is generally similar to the you know which is spoken in all other countries as well see their religious affiliation is this you can see in the pie chart mostly it's sunni then there is hindu then there is christian then there is buddhist and a very small percentage of other religions as well the next one okay so this is a national emblem of ue it is similar it is similar to the post coats of arm and emblems of other arab states as well it consists of a golden falcon you can see which is known as hawk of quraish with a dish in the middle to shows the uae flag seven stars which represent the seven empires of the quraish okay see the seven seven stars and seven feathers of the the feathers are also seven in number so it signifies the federation of of the em, entire emirates next one okay now what is the national bird from the emblem we could see that a falcon was the national bird of ue this is what a falcon looks like So it looks like it looks like some <laughs> looks like it's looking at something maybe that's uh, you know from birds i remember that i saw a bird today which was actually having a long neck long a beak actually and it was named indian grey indian grey what was it um, bill horn horn bill yeah horn bill horn bill indian horn bill yes horn those bill. are very beautiful and colorful once yeah. i went once i, I went what they were eating so he was eating so he just threw it up and then up uh, he ate it yes they have a long you no know, so they think of how difficult it is for them to yeah. eat something with that beak this 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 falcon yes it looks like it's seeing itself in the mirror more than it, more than looking at like it's catching food <laughs> this is the same falcon which we saw in the emblem holding the flag okay wait now a second what falcon is the fastest animal in the world no that's cheetah cheetah huh? no i'm not fastest bird fastest bird no 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 it's act it's actually not a cheetah yeah cheetah is the fastest land animal and the fastest bird is actually ostrich wait listen i'm saying that these guys can reach when they are diving they can reach up the speeds of Three hundred and eighty miles per hour. Okay. 
but in diving and 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 cheetahs can reach up to uh, can reach up to speeds of 100 that's it wow it's the ulta now well, they travel in different forms yeah you can't you don't want either of them to chase yeah, but the falcon looks very beautiful. Yes, it does. No? Yeah. And the Arabian oryx also. Okay. So, what is the national flower? The national flower is Tribulus omanens. See, this is a picture. It's completely yellow in color with a small green center in the middle. Does looks like it's doesn't looks like it's uh, what, what looks like it's a mix of light yellow and gold. Light yellow and gold. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. And the national animal also is the oryx. The oryx we had back then. We saw with the long horns. Remember? Yes, that is the, because it's found in abundance there, I guess. That's why it's a national animal. Okay, now sports. Okay, football is the most popular sports in the world. Okay, and we all know that UAE is like very famous for dates. So their national food is also a date. Their dates are very tasty. I've had their dates from the movie. They're huge. So they come the in ones, but I don't like it. They don't. They have different shapes and sizes. Like they have different kinds of dates. Yeah. Once my aunt brought for me once, my auntie. Okay. You did not like them? Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. But she had gone to Thailand also. Both of the places. Next slide. Now we'll see about the government. See, the offices are so pretty. So the U.S. office. He must be some shake. Yes, there are all shakes there. All of them are shakes. Like he left. must be confused who is this shake and who is this shake. <laughs> and they all dress the same also. Yeah, so it will be very confusing over there. Okay, so the U.S. official Emirates news agency announced Sheikh Khalifa, Sheikh Khalifa Said Al Fahin. My God, their names are so big. What was the currency? Uh, um, Amirati Dirham. Dirham, yes. So he had appointed Muhammad Salim Batam Tameni as the as a governor of UAE on April. Sheikh Khalifa is the Emir of Abu Dhabi. The UAE's largest emirate, making him president of the UAE ex officio. Okay, so he appointed someone named Salim as the governor of, as the governor, and he is the emir of Abu Dhabi as well. So UAE is also the largest emirate, and that makes him the president of the entire UAE ex officio. Next. Next, we come to PG News. Do you like what you see? Yeah, I just love the shawarma. The shawarma. Okay. So we have the shawarma. We have a uh, stuffed camel. Oh, they eat camel too. Camel? Camel, camel. Ooh. Yeah, camel, stuffed camel. Camel? Yes. Camels. I hope it's not made out of camel. It is. It's written stuffed camel. They eat camels. 
you. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I know Chinese. You know Chinese people eat dogs. Gross. Yes, they eat dogs and cockroaches. You. I heard they actually eat mosquitoes. That I don't know. I just know they eat dogs. And yeah, they eat dogs. By the way, mammoths. why don't before why they don't used I... to eat mammoths before? Okay. By the way, why do they eat all these animals? That's what I'm starting to wonder. Same. Maybe they like it. See, they have biryani also. See. Yum. Actually, love the one. Especially chicken biryani. Next one. Now about the airlines. We learn about the airlines. There is the Emirates. We all know that the Emirates is the largest airline in the flag carrier of UAE. Based on Garho, Dubai, the airline is a subsidiary of the Emirates Group which is owned by the government of Dubai's Investment Corporation of Dubai. It is, one of, it is the largest airline that they have. Wow, I, it's actually my favorite airline in all. Yes. Yeah. They have Atihad Airlines. See, Atihad Ooh, Airlines. I also like that airline. Yeah, they have flights all over destinations like the Middle East. Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, as well as America. My God, are there bird migrating? What? Are there bird migrating to one continent to the other? Some birds to migrate from one continent to other. Yeah, I just can't go that way. Next one. There's Fly Dubai. So, this is how the flights, how their flights look like. Fly Dubai is a government-owned budget airline in Dubai. And this flight operates in Terminal 2 of Dubai International Airport. And the airport operates a total of 95 destinations, which also serve the Middle East, Africa, Asia, and Europe from Dubai. The company's slogan is Get Going. That is the slogan. Get Going. Next. Thank you. That is all we have for today. So what do you think about me? How did you like? Amazing. You want to go to Abu Dhabi? <laughs> Not Abu Dhabi, but Dubai. Dubai. I've already gone to meet there. all the shakes, to meet all the shakes, and I drink some milkshake. <laughs> and eat biryani too. Yeah. Actually, I. But actually, not the I'm... stuffed camel. Not the stuff. Okay. Actually, I, I want to go there to, to see the aquarium to Dubai. I've already seen it once, but I want to see it again. How was it? There were, there were sharks. The tons of sharks were what? There were more stingrays than sharks, but obviously you would enjoy it because it's one of the largest aquariums in the world. So it must be as big as a mall or something? In fact, it is in a mall. Oh, the aquariums are in the Dubai Mall, na? Dubai Mall? Yes. It's the largest mall in the world, I guess so. Yes, Arika. Yes, Arika. I have some facts. Okay, go on. Yes, ma'am. There is no permanent reverse in UAE. Dubai is a very young city. Dubai's tallest building is based on a flower. That's nice. What did you like What's the population? What's the population? Population. I don't know about 
the property, but it's it actually it's all of the Middle East to be considered a population. So it's all. Actually, the the population might not be much because you know, guys, it's mostly surrounded by ocean. And one more thing, I'll show you the a map of UAE one second. Oh, I'm gonna glow. I have one fact. I'll just put my earphones again. Can I guess? Yes. yes, actually, the population of UAE is almost 97.7 lakhs. Uh, oh. 2019 census. Yeah. Yeah, so this. One second. Yeah. Can you see this thing? What yeah. Is? Yes, yes. It turns out, it turns out UAE is pretty small. Yeah, but it's pretty rich. Very small, but rich. Okay, so I hope all the guests have learned and enjoyed today's tour to the UAE. So tomorrow, we are going to visit UK. Ah, the country I've been waiting for. That yes. their national Me sport, too. their national sport is actually my favorite. I play it all oh. the time. Great. So Which, we'll talk about this country tomorrow. Which is so your favorite I sport for you all? You all have to search about some uh, favorite places you can visit. Okay.